Hey you guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something that can teleport players to a different game. So let's just get right into it. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a button that allows you to teleport players to other games. So first thing we need to do is go under the view tab and open up Explorer and properties. After that, we can go into the starter GUI, click the plus and enter in a screen GUI, and then click the plus and enter in a text button. So this is going to be the button that teleports the player to the different game. So I'm just going to resize it into a size that I like, maybe something like this. And I'm also just going to quickly add in a UI corner to give it some nice corners around the button. After that, I'm going to click on the button and then go into the properties of it. And I'm just going to make the button look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to make the background a nice cyan color. And then maybe I'm going to go all the way to the bottom into text. I'm going to change the text to this. And I'm also just going to make it scaled so that people can read it. And I'm also just probably going to make it uh, bold, just like that. So once you have your button that you want the players to click and teleport to a different game, what you can do is go under the button, click the plus and enter in a local script. So the script will be in the description down below, or you can um, watch and follow and copy what I do right now. So the first things we're going to need is we're going to need some variables. So for starters, we're going to write local teleport service equals to game colon get service and then quotation marks teleport service. After that, go down the line and then we're going to write local game ID equals to and then we're just going to put in like a placeholder number for now. We'll get back to this later. And then we're going to go down another line and we're going to write local player equals to game dot players dot local player and then go down the line and then write local db or debounce equals to true. So the first line here, we're getting the teleporting service from Roblox and the game ID will be the ID of the game that we're going to teleport into. So we'll do that last. The player is just the local player from the local script. And then a debounce is kind of like a cooldown so that like the script doesn't like run um, every single time if the player like spam clicks the button. So after that, we can go down two lines and then now we're going to be writing the teleport part. So go down the line. And then write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then put in brackets and then go one out and then go down the line and then write if db then and then go down the line and then write db equals to false and then go down the line and then write teleport service colon teleport and then you'll see that there's brackets and we need to write a few things in there. So first we're going to write game ID comma player. And that's all we need to write. After that, go down the line and then write task dot wait one. And then go down the line and write DB equals to true. So what this does is when the player um, clicks the button once, uh, we're going to check if DB is true or like the cooldown is not on. And then we're going to put on the cooldown. And then we're going to teleport the player into the game ID or our game. And after one second, we're going to reset the cooldown. Okay, so the last part we need to do is we need to have a number inside the game ID. So to find the game ID of your game, you need to go onto the web page of Roblox. So in this case, I'm going to be using my own game called Random Maze. Um, it doesn't matter what game it is, as long as it is public, then uh, it will work. So once you're on your game on the Roblox web page, go up uh, where you find the link. And then beside games and slash, you'll see a string of numbers. That is your game ID. So what you can do is just select that, copy it, and then go back into Roblox Studio and replace our zero with our game ID. Your script should look something like this and you should have a button. And the last thing we need to do is we actually need to make the game public. If your game is not public, then the teleporting will also not work because you have to test it out in the actual Roblox because Roblox Studio does not support studio teleporting. So if your game is not already public, just go into the home tab, 
go into game settings, go into permission, and then over playability, just make sure that it is public. And for that, you can go into the file and you can just publish it to Roblox Studio and then go into the actual Roblox to test it out. So here, this is the teleport GUI game um, that we were scripting in. So I'm gonna go test it out on the actual Roblox. And as you can see right now, I am inside the actual Roblox and the button is right here. And if I press the button and then just wait a little bit, as you can see, I have been teleported to my own game called Random Maze. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, if you'd like to see other ways that you can also activate this teleporting thing, like for example, maybe you're hitting a block or maybe you're holding E, then you can click on the video on the end screen or the first link in the description below. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.